Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome back to my MarkTech channel. Uh, uh, in this video, I am going to share an interesting uh, combination of uh, Zapier and uh, most powerful programming language Python. How you can you uh, leverage Python, uh, Python uh, benefits inside of Zapier. Zapier allows you to um, uh, process your uh, process your incoming uh, data uh, through python as well as through javascript uh, for this video we will stick to python first uh, 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 as you might know zapier has introduced a new uh, um, thing called a code where we can where which we can use it to run code inside the uh, zapier there are like these are like built-in modules uh tables filter format delay we used to hard uh, do uh let's um, for that you have to just click code by sapir and once you click you have you can just when it has to trigger run javascript or python we have to tell the zapier machine like uh, which which uh, language we are going to use and once that is set up you can just click continue and then you can uh, assign the data and um, uh extract a particular data and uh and uh, ch are check for uh filters and return after a function all those things uh can be done and the uh, key thing here is uh it allows the default uh, modules of python say if uh, you can't like import external libraries into it like uh popular libraries like pandas and all those things you can use the default uh, regular python and it runs on like uh, 3.8 uh, around uh, python version uh, 3.8 and you can uh, use all those default modules available uh, with the uh, with that python version as mm. i say this is how we can do that let's for uh, i have already have a uh, python step so let's uh, directly go to that and uh, say if at all we have a, a code block like this say i i'm uh, i'm importing json this is the json is a default module json dot loads means like it uh, it processes the json da uh, data the uh, uh, for that input data we have to key, we have to assign a key and a value the key here is total so i have a uh, inputted the key fit the key here and the module and the value is the raw body raw body here is the uh, uh, from, uh this is the our uh, incoming data which we have handled which we have caught through the catch web book say uh, these are like the this is the web book and uh, i have copied this for the sake of demo i'm using it uh, i'm using it here and then you can send the test data here mm say i have a uh, i have constructed a json body like uh, json uh, with the uh, in uh, that will go as a body and you can see the content type is application json and name email and these are like key uh, simple keys and values and once you are done with that <laughs> and uh, you can uh, we can see all the different requests uh, we, we have got through this catch uh, raw hook and uh, the and this is how the raw hook is with this, uh, with a simple json body, uh, body and the and the headers we are not interested for the headers here and you can just we can use the directly the body um, here inside of the code module and uh, we can uh, consider the whole body as the value and then we can process it say if at all this this json has a name email and uh, a product which you which a customer might have brought about for a subscription or those things which you have uh, which you have published in a funnel and all those things can be captured and depending on the um, uh, in, uh, incoming product we are like the desired field you want to match that alone can be processed and extracted through the with the help of the python here that is the benefit of using python or javascript inside the um, in uh, inside the zapier uh, because with the with the programming languages you can extract from any complex type of json uh, yeah, uh, a module can uh, 
uh, send it to the uh, Zapier with, through, a, through a web book and all those uh, things can be processed very easily with the help of Python or the JavaScript and you have to have a written statement uh, for that you can mention like a uh, written email and what is the uh, this is the key and this is the value written email and uh, uh, yeah and uh, yeah and the variable uh, with the value as a uh, value of email so when we just test this you can just click continue and retest any action here you can just see like it extracts and and uh, shares the output as uh, email only for zapier at gmail.com this is the uh, this is the output which we demanded and as appear as the process with the help of the python code your python code has run successfully and now you can just click continue and you can uh, you can use this data to any other modules or uh, any other uh, ways you want to handle all those things can be done uh, after processing uh, with the python and you can do the same thing with uh, javascript also uh, for Zapier has given a detailed help documentation for this and you can uh, yeah, and uh, wherever whatever the limitations are and uh, uh, and how you can do this all those things can be um, can, can be uh, can be get from here so uh, this combines actually the Zapier plus Python throws in enormous opportunities especially to process complex data uh only caveat is you can't like import any external modules and this would be available in the premium action uh, it's a premium future and also you need to have you need to know like uh, what are all the limitations here and uh, and there would be code throw and rate limit and throttling because you can't like a uh, process huge number of data and then those limit those throttling and rate limit will come into effect so be careful do, uh, on that fact otherwise your uh, your zap or that a particular step could run into errors i hope it clear let me know in case if you have any queries i will uh, happy to answer those thanks for watching please consider subscribing channel thanks bye